Good morning. Um, I wanted to have some fun at Michael Bush's expense, right, for his dancing yesterday and do some comparisons to Megan Trainer. Um, but they told me backstage that I absolutely could not do that, that I had to get to the point. So look, I have the pleasure, actually the, the privilege to introduce our next speaker, um, Rachel Knight. You guys have a lot of information about Rachel in the app. So I won't go through all of her accomplishments and her background, um, but I will share this with you. At AT AT&T, she has responsibility uh, for planning, designing, and building our global network, right? Our wireless and our wireline network. So when you think of the scale and scope of that, sort of unparalleled around the world. When you think about the transition that we're making to a 5G network, Rachel is leading that. But I would tell you, the fact that she has that responsibility, the fact that she is African American, the fact that she is a woman, that is not what makes her unique. What makes Rachel unique is that as one of the leading technologists in the world, she's also one of the best leaders in our business. Rachel has this uncanny ability to not only be able to synthesize what we have to do as a business around technology, Um, But she understands the difference between managing work and leading people. So she is one of the most motivational, most inspirational leaders at AT AT&T, which really, I believe, sets her apart uh, from most leaders around the world. So at AT AT&T, we're extremely proud. Uh, We think it's a competitive advantage, actually, that we have Rachel on our team. Um, So when you look in that app, you'll see what her title is. So I'm getting ready to bring her on stage. I'm not going to attempt. Uh, to recite that long title, what I would do is just say, please join me in welcoming Senior Vice President, a.k.a. Badass Rachel Knight, to the stage. Thank you, Corey, I think. Um, <laughs> Thank you all for being here um, this morning. So my goal in five minutes or less is to share with you my perspective on how AT&T embraces technology, embraces diversity and inclusion, and how we promote professional success. Before I go there, though, first, just go back in time with me for a moment. Imagine a young girl growing up in a small town of less than 5,000 people one traffic light in the town, per capita income less than half the national average, the daughter of a sharecropper and a mail carrier. A young girl curious about how the world works, but she doesn't even realize that her world isn't the world. Imagine also a company with roots in changing communications for the entire world, a company that in 140 plus years of rich history Today is a Fortune 10 company, a company that connects individuals around the globe, enable enterprises to serve their customers, a company that's leading the U.S. in fifth generation wireless, or 5G as it's known. Now, imagine the infusion of the two. A young female African American engineer from rural small town Florida, a small town in Florida, shows up on the front door of a major technology company. She asked herself, will the corporate corporate culture embrace me? She asked herself, will I fit in? You all know the answer to that question, because 20 years later, I'm standing here. So my journey is an example of the opportunity, the culture, and the values that make AT&T a great place to work. Today, I lead a team, an amazingly talented team, of over 15,000 engineers, construction managers, project managers, operators, technicians, responsible for AT&T's access network, both fixed and uh, wireless. So wireless, just think smartphones. Sure, everybody has smartphones, all kind of other wireless devices. Fixed, think fiber with all the entertainment, all the broadband, and frankly, fix enabling wireless in and of itself. That's what I get to do every day. So throughout my career, I've learned a lot of lessons. As a female in tech, 
and all of you in whatever role you serve. Experiences bring learning. And I frame my learnings in a philosophy I call the three R's. Resiliency, risk, and reward. I learned resiliency firsthand from my parents. Raising a family in an economically challenged situation with few opportunities has its trials and tribulations, but my parents were resilient. My mother always say to us, get an education. An education will bring you opportunities. Knowledge expands the possibilities. My father would say to me, keep your head up. And every time I think about that, I remember it was his way of telling me to keep moving forward, to not give up. Resiliency is a powerful ally, because trust me, the tests are real. I'm having an amazing career. Like, I love what I do. But a woman of color in tech isn't always easy. And AT&T as a company, and even though we value diversity and inclusion at our core values, we aren't perfect, because there is no perfect. I've been in meetings, like some others, where your voice has been discounted. But I will tell you, the low points far outweigh the high points. Where others have respected my voice, other leaders, other peers, other employees, that respected my voice because of the unique experience. Not because I was different in spite of me being different, but because of the value that was brought to the table. So the takeaway that I'll leave with each of you is that you can be that supportive person to embrace others that are different, that you consciously decide to help. Take the risk to stand up for someone that's different than you are, which brings me to my second R, risk. So AT&T as a company, um, this is one of the things about my, my, my job that I love. When, when your goals are public, anybody have that experience? So we took a big risk and announced that we were going to lead um, mobile 5G. On January 3rd of 2018, we decided we were going to publicly say by the end of 18, we're going to lead in mobile 5G. Keep in mind, brand new technology never deployed. The ink is still drying on the tech standards. And we say, we're in. Think about the risks that individuals had to take to make that commitment. Individuals on my team and others at at and to make that commitment. And then even more risk to make it happen. So I think about the individuals that really had to expand their voice and take the risk to be heard in some very trying moments. So imagine a project manager telling an engineer, here's some technical advice that I think you should try. Imagine a construction manager in an already tight timeline changing the logistics process. Imagine a labs manager who prides themselves on testing in the lab so that it's perfect in production, agreeing to go put new software in the production network without their comfort zone of extensive testing. That's risk. But people did it day in and day out. So that on December 21st, 2018, we launched the US first standards-based mobile 5G. That's the technology, that's the culture that we're about beyond just the technology. So I was in awe of the team as they made this happen. I witnessed firsthand what rallying behind a common goal means, what having a culture of inclusion and risk taking means, and that it wins in the end when you embrace new ideas, you allow people to have a voice that can actually have a different viewpoint. Because diversity in viewpoints lead to diversity in better solutions. And so at at t we value that. And we're on this journey to ensure that all employees, all members of our teams have a voice and that they're heard. So the final R is reward. And that was pretty simple. And it's directly tied to the risk and the resiliencies that I've had in my personal journey. But it's also rooted and been possible because of the values at AT&T, that we would embrace 
people that look different, that behave different, but that still brings value. We embrace diversity. We're inclusive. They really are two things. What is the environment that gets set to be inclusive? And at at and we're making that happen. And so on a reward, so one obvious reward is I get to stand here today. A young girl from rural America, rural town in Florida, senior vice president at a Fortune 10 company. That's a reward. But, but let me say this. That reward of having a title doesn't compare to the reward and the joy and the pleasure in finding your purpose. And that's your inner environment that allows you to do that. So my true reward is beating the odds only to find out that, that only to find out that the odds were opportunities to find your purpose. My true reward is being a part of a great team, accomplishing great things. My true reward is making a difference in the lives of others that they too have the space in the environment to achieve. So I'll just say this to you, hashtag life at at and is great. Hashtag GPTW for all, for all. Remember that, take the risk to stand up for someone else. Be resilient, fight for what you believe in, and you'll get the reward. Thank you for your time.